Let's talk about the band Creeping Death. Uh, I guess my first impression it was kind of bold to pick that name since it's a well-known Metallica song. So it might lead people to believe they are a Metallica cover band, but this is not the case. When you think about it, the name is quite fitting. Uh, they're a death metal band. They have a new album called Boundless Domain, so let's talk about it. The band is fairly new on the scene. I guess you can call them the new wave of American death metal, if that is even a thing. Uh, they're from Texas, uh, the home state of many popular bands, such as uh, Pantera. I actually have the shirt on today. But uh, I know I'm like two minutes into this video, and I already compared them to two of the biggest metal bands in the world, and they are like nothing like either of them. But according to Encyclopedia Metallum, uh, they write songs about violence, war, death, insanity. So, so far, the themes that would uh, be uh, you know, typical of a death metal band. But they also write about video games, uh, specifically the game RuneScape. It's a video game I'm not familiar with. Uh, I did a quick Google search and I found it's a fantasy multiplayer online role-playing game uh, published by Jagex uh, and dates back to uh, 2001. So this game is over 20 years old. And uh, to be honest with you, like the last like RPG game I played was like Ultima 2 on the Commodore 64. I mean, that's how old I am. I'm going off on a tangent. Let's talk about this game. Second full length album. The first album was released in 2019 called Wretched Illusions, and now in 2023 they have Boundless Domain. The album is fairly short, it's 36 minutes long, and it's just pummeling death metal start to finish. So, on the surface, uh, the lyrics seem to be typical death metal lyrics. So, for example, on the track Intestinal Rap, it, it seems to be a typical gory a horror story, but if you look into the lyrics, they say the line, The Horrors of Edom. So I googled it again, and it brought me to a Bible verse, uh, Jeremiah forty nine seventeen, Edom will become an object of horror. All who pass by will be appalled and will scoff because of all its wounds. And that's from the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. And also, uh, let me mention that uh, this song features George Corpse Grinder Fisher on vocals. The album was produced by Adam uh, Dukiewicz. Uh, he was the guitarist for Kill Switch Engage, and he worked with bands such as Azalei Dying, The Acacia Strain, and Under Oath. And the current label is MNRK Heavy. Let's talk about this one. The album opens with a title track. It starts slow and melodic. It kind of reminded me of like early Slayer, like Hello Waits, where they had like that slow building intro, and it takes off into some old school death metal. It's not very fast paced, it's got some galloping rhythms, and the vocals are mostly harsh. Death metal vocals with uh, some variety and the sound. Uh, they change tempos throughout the song, so I thought that was interesting. Then intestinal rap, I mentioned this one before. It's just sick and heavy death metal. It's an old school uh, death metal sound with wailing guitars. The end some cool tempo changes, a shredding solo. The song has some uh, thick and heavy guitar riffs in the middle of the song. And so far, two songs in, the album's very good. Vilified Earth had a darker sound with some fast tremolo picking. Another song with an old school death metal sound. I thought the bass guitar interlude was good. One thing I noticed about this album so far, I'm like three songs in, but all these songs have their own personality. I think sometimes in death metal songs tend to sound the same, but this band changes their rhythms enough so each song is unique. The Parthian shot starts off with some chugging riffs and fast and heavy drum beats. The guitar riffs are technical, and uh, the song is four minutes long. They have a lot going on in terms of tempo changes and guitar riffs. Creators turned into prey, uh, continues with the old school death metal. I was listening to the song on headphones, and while I'm preparing this video, and I noticed they like to like play with the left and right channels in the recording mix, and I think that always like makes the song like better. It's just uh, definitely more enjoyable. And plus, this music is not super fast all the time. They're not afraid to slow it down when necessary. And Cursed is the shortest song, just under three minutes. It's pummeling old school death metal. It's straight to the point. Don't waste any time. Just knocks you down, beats you over. Or well, That didn't make any sense, but you know what I'm talking about. Then uh, Remnants of the Old Gods has some more atmosphere and feedback. Uh, guitar riff is slower. There's a lot more feeling. Not really Death Doom, but they pick up the pace and as the song progresses, they go back and forth with a fast and slow guitar pace. They continue the song with some old school death metal guitar riffs, so it's definitely a song that stands out on the album. Looming continues with their old school death metal sound, so 
the song has like a fast galloping rhythm and lots of changes in the sound. And the final song, The Common Breeder. Uh, this one has a drum beat. It kind of picks up. Uh, the guitar riff reminds me of some old school thrash metal. They pick up the pace with some fast and heavy death metal riffs. They use palm muting on the guitar riffs and giving it a thick and heavy sound. Like the other songs, lots of guitar riffs mixed into the short runtime of this. This was a very good album when it comes to death metal. Uh, sometimes it uh, seems there are so many bands out there, it's kind of hard to stand out amongst the crowd. I think this band has something that makes them stand out. I enjoyed it much more than I did with many other death metal bands I've listened to in the past couple of months. I think they pay a lot of attention to like what's going on in the song. I think they know when it's time to speed up, slow down, switch gears, and I think that was the thing that made them stand out as opposed to other bands that sometimes sound the same from song to song. So at the same time, their sound was very cohesive. It's death metal. Start to finish, they didn't really experiment too much with their sound. I will give this an 8.5 out of 10. I think this band will be getting uh, bigger over time. Those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please like this video. It helps me with the algorithm. Please subscribe. If you haven't already, and comment. I'd like to reply to all comments. Uh, I'm going to put some uh, death metal in this uh, little link right here. I'm not sure what it will be, but it will be some old school death metal. I've reviewed uh, a few over the years. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.